What are we talking about? Now, what do you see? What do you see now? Do you see this? That, that I Google see Chrome? nothing except gray. And this is my bodyguard. Called technology, <laughs> Sue. This, this, doohickey, this doohickey records my picture and my voice, and it sends it over the airwaves, and then you look at it. And it's your webs. Tell me about your vagina. Steel. Yeah. <laughs> Wavy? I went to I went to beauty school twice. I don't know what you call it. Wavy? Is that wavy hair? <laughs> Was that in between barber college and clown college? It, Shit. What's your title tonight, sir? Another guest. <laughs> physical. 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 You take your take your physical. You take your physical. 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 You take your take your. Physical? You take your physical? I think we did it. I think we're Jesus. good to go. Sorry, to go off. Hell of an intro. Oh, holy yeah. cow. Shut the oh, good lord. It's Monday. And you know what that means? It's Monday Motivation. This is the Spaniard keeping it tight. Another Monday edition of Monday Motivation. And ladies and gentlemen, I give you the ogre. Why do you always you always like make that sound weird? What? Another Monday edition of Monday Motivation? Well, Don't criticize him. Yeah, come on, damn it. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Last person that did that got fired. That's right. fucking lawyer. You're walking on thin ice here, ogre. Who was that, Siren? <laughs> <laughs> Is she what? I didn't let her go. Oh, damn. No, no I didn't let no. anybody go. I don't. Hey, don't how's do it going? Here. How's okay. things? Very What's good. shaking out there in internet, Facebook, live land, or whatever the fuck we are. We uh, are interwebs. It's Monday. Was I here last week? Did we no. Lose? No, I wasn't here last week. I was being a big crybaby bitch. That's right. I forgot. Because they actually expected me to work at work, and I had to stay late. And I was <laughs> That's mm-hmm. not funny at all, Mr. Work. Oh, you're not Mr. Unemployed anymore. I can't say. Oh, did you start yet? No, not yet. Duh. Oh, well, then I guess you are still Mr. Unemployed. <laughs> he's, he's still wearing the uh, French maid outfit that I sent him. That's right. The one <laughs> the one that you stretched out for your I wife. stretched out for him, yeah. <laughs> So. Well, we have a we have a guest today. Why don't yes, you guys, tell let's us. introduce our guest before we get to my insane rantings. Insane. Well, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a special treat because this is the first time ever on Monday Motivation we have a female on as a guest, the very first Say, female guest uh, have, on the show we ever. We have back Sue. every week. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, we have Sue Sobosinski, a, so uh, a whiskey enthusiast, a a local band promoter and a Ooh. professional, uh, a professional insurance producer, uh, and we're going to talk about what she does here in a little bit. But uh, yeah. welcome to the show, Sue. Hey guys, thanks for having me on. So tell us where where are you where are you call where are you calling in from? Where where is home? Lovely Crown Point, Indiana. Ooh, it's actually very nice out here. We love it. <laughs> Gay. Ah. Hey, that's not what gay, is Sean Rajesh. called? Hoosier Land? That's where Hoosier my mother Land. lives. Yeah. Be nice. It is Hoosier Land. It's very nice. It's, <laughs> I think it's very friendly. It's uh, got a lot of stuff to do, you know? So. Yeah. I live right near the square, so there's always lots of stuff to do. Oh, I hate that so, square. I know. It is a pain in the ass to drive around it. It is a little People, bit. Too many hippies. There, hippies. There's a lot of hippies oh, out here, there's... totally. Yeah. Hippies? That's yeah. different since I lived out there. I lived out there in, oh... Way back in aught two, I think, or oh mm-hmm. one, or whenever the hell I I'm lived not sure out there. if we're supposed to call them hippies. I'm not sure if that's politically correct, but who cares? Yeah. What is the terminology, <laughs> Doc? Do, do we know sure. or dirt bags? Idiots. No. Idiots. Bums. Millennials. Ah, that's... Hey, maybe the guy from Friday can get out there with some coats. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rajesh. Yeah, Rajesh is a little sorry. slow. Sorry, Sue. That's a, a callback. Slow. Oh, so hey, Sue, we've your, uh, your, your introduction there, Miss Pan. You forgot that you you forgot to mention that Sue and I are former lovers. <laughs> Is that oh, right? Yeah. I did not. I did we not know that. All about we had, that. We had a sordid affair in. Uh, oh well, do tell. You see, you didn't tell me this in pre-production. Well, holy shit! Think, tell us. I'm just, I'm just making this <laughs> shit up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. In, in, in '96 was it, Sean? I, maybe it was '90. Briefly. When well, I, I was know. married to my first husband. I think it wow. was in between my first and second wives. Wait yeah. a second. How many times have you been married, Sue? Twice. Twice? And, married and, ogre? and divorced twice. And I'm a grandma. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, Jesus. I know. The hell is going on over here? Yeah. Damn. I'm all older. Right. I'm older than all of you that we were all born in the same year. Yeah, I, I don't think nobody old. knows our year. No. 
I don't oh. think anybody knows. Well, I think Annie. you're 29. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yes. You're, I was going to say, you don't, you don't look a day past 20. Yeah, 29. There you go. I don't like a day Ooh. past 45. Ooh. And actually, Sean and I, we are like almost on the same boat. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. I think his birthday's the day after mine. That is great. So where's your bodyguard at? I thought you were supposed to have a bodyguard. He's coming. He 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 mm. had a special project for yeah. me. So really, yeah. That He's ball gotta come gag down. again. Gotta mm. come on down. Getting the gimp suit. Said. <laughs> getting the yeah, getting the gimp suit on. I know who you're talking about. You can just, you can just tell that goof to stay off the screen there. <laughs> He's trying to stay anonymous. <laughs> You know. I'm not trying to laugh. I'm, I'm, oh, no. Hold on, hold on. I'm being. I'm being. I can't uh, go outdoors without a bodyguard these days. Yeah, because you are. You're again. We're going to get to this question here in a little bit. You're a local band promoter, and you know you need security with uh, with some I of do. these clubs and stuff. It's a dangerous and job. Yeah. It's a dangerous job. So we're going to we're going to be getting to that here in a little bit. But I guess what everybody's asking is whiskey enthusiast. What is a whiskey enthusiast? What, what's that all about? I'm going to have to say that if you drink bourbon. Whiskey, you're an enthusiast. Oh, okay. If you drink it, yes. Yeah, see, there you go. Cheers, man. Enthusiast. So, yeah. Doc, you're you're an enthusiast then. I guess so. That it makes... was a secret club. Now that you now you know. Okay. So if you do something, you're so is it kind of like Fight Club? We're not supposed to talk about it anymore after this. But we don't something? talk about shit. Oh. Nice. Got it. Okay. I guess I Fight Club. It. That makes me a masturbation enthusiast. Really? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so at least we got all that in common, right? Yeah. So right, what's so, what's so the, are uh, you are you like in a in a whiskey drinking group, or do you just sit around and get tanked? Is it a league? And say, boy, I really appreciate whiskey or bourbon mm, yep. or whatever you call yeah. it. It's more of competition level drinking. Oh Jesus! Mm. Competition level. Oh, do tell. Okay, what was yeah. what was the last competition you had, and what was the turnout? Um. Well, we were at George's. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Speaking West. of which, yeah, there you yes. go. Give the that's plug. one of our sponsors. Yes, uh, Backcourt Bar and Grill, located in Crown Point, Indiana. Give them a call. Veteran owned. Yeah. So, um, what's what was cool about that is that we weren't aware of how many shots we were drinking. You know how that goes yeah. when you're drinking out with I friends. Can't you can't? Sip. Not even a little bit? Anymore. No, see, see, no, I can't. I get I get very, what's the word, honorary when I start when I do when I start doing shots. <laughs> I feel I'm like talking. that's the point of doing shots. Uh, you don't you don't want you don't want this. You don't want this getting out you of the You know what? Cage. I hate to say this. I have to I'm really sorry. I gotta step out real quick. No nope, phone worries. call. Work. Oh, you got it. No problem. This is, I get another first, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. He first. left the building. Wow. He oh, left his God. own show. Shit. <laughs> How fucked up Ladies and gentlemen, we break this, uh, we break this show to, to let you know that he has got the bubble guts and he has to go. He will return shortly. Uh, in the meantime, we will play some bathroom music for your enjoyment. I hope now, he has we'll to fly. We'll, uh, we'll get, yeah, you know what? I, I made the mistake. I'm never buying toilet paper again because... Uh, I messed up. I did not do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah you know. You had one job and you screwed one up. One job. Yep, one job. Ooh, was it see, like the Aldi brand single ply? Yeah, no, it was Scott. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, God's it word. was. Uh, it was all over. It's all over the place. It's like dust. It's like wiping your ass with like dust. You might as well just use your hand. Yeah, well, that's In some that's. Some countries they do. Yeah, I, we, I know. I'm there. aware. Yeah, we've been. There. I did not know that until recently. <laughs> I was appalled. Yeah. It's gross. So yeah. Yeah. That's why you don't use your left hand to, to shake hands with people. Right. Apparently, yeah. I again, did my bodyguard taught me that. Or even okay. if you wave at them with your left hand, they think it's disrespectful because it's like, like you're waving shit at them. Mm. Mm, that's more like saying shit hand, like uh, wave to like shit hand to your face, kind of a thing. <laughs> I want to do yeah. that. Go fuck your mother or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm going to change the topic now because again, not, yeah, he'll yeah. be back. Hopefully, he'll sure. drop some weight and we'll talk about it. Um, so what is your what is your whiskey of choice? What is your favorite? Well, Ooh, that's a good I'm, question. well, remember I'm from Calumet City. Okay. Now tell us about We're Calumet City fancy. for those of us for those of us who don't know who, what Calumet City is about. What is Calumet City? What is it? It's the land of a thousand bars. <gasps> okay. Do tell. Tell us why. Why? Well, growing up in Calumet City, there's literally a bar in every corner, in, mm-hmm. in your parents' basement or mm-hmm. your friend's basement or whatever. But, oh, no, um, and, and, and no, I just want to, I want to capitalize on this. 
Google Calumet City, and Sue's not bullshitting. There is literally, well, not anymore, but you know, a few few years ago, 10 years ago, what have you, there was literally a bar at every corner. Per capita, yeah, it was corner. the most bars per per capita in the world, I think. I think that's what it was. Or yeah, I, I know five. it was Illinois for sure, but possibly yeah. in the world, yep. Maybe okay. Vegas beat them, I'm not sure. Sure, yeah. So, yeah. Also home of the Smiley Towers. For, oh, yeah. Oh, man. We've got some <laughs> stories to tell about those Smiley Towers. Uh, I think Rajesh uh, chimed in. We have a comment. Doc, yeah, he that. says uh, it's from Sherilyn Radar. Rad, Rad, Radar. Oh, that's yeah. my sister. Says, uh, hey, Mom, it's Caden. I'm on Auntie Shun's <laughs> phone watching. Yeah. I, I she guess. Knew. Yeah, that's my sister's nickname. She's here from Texas. So I you did have a have family dinner to come see, be with you guys. Oh, very cool. Well, wait a second. You have a sister. I didn't know you had a sister. I know not many people do. It's an it's an unknown fact that I actually Man. have a younger sister and a younger brother. I did not know. Olga, did you know that? Yeah, her sister's kind of hot. No shit. You got, all right, we're going to have to... Yeah. I'm sorry about that. That was the regional vice president. That's yeah, right. Called. He just <laughs> he had those <laughs> buffalo <laughs> wings that were way too when, hot for uh, you, and they when, came out a little hotter. When she calls, official. you pick up the phone. The bus business never sleeps. That's correct. I, oh, I heard. <laughs> I'll turn this damn bus around. <laughs> That's right. I'll, I, yes, I need to pick up those phone calls or else old... Uh, Ogre here would be uh I oh, Ogre, this is the I'd best be, part. Now. I'd be the next unemployed Mr. Unemployed around here. For your next <laughs> for your next review, show this video and say, This is when you called. I dropped everything and I answered that goddamn phone, so you better give me a raise. Like show this footage right here next <laughs> I next don't review. think I want her anywhere near this link to, to this silliness. That's <laughs> for sure. All right, so what I'm in. I gotta catch up on uh, you miss Sue's uh, crazy, crazy Legend Vegas adventures. Um uh, uh-huh. That you missed out on yeah. six, so yeah. Okay. You're gonna have to All right. Watch, what about this? What about this? Video. What about this brand, band promotion? Jet. Yeah. Up with tell that? us this gig. Tell us about cash your band. Unpaid position. I'm sorry. What? It's the supreme unpaid position. Oh, mm. unpaid. <laughs> Pass. I get to go hang out with people, and I get to you know figure out who's playing, and they usually call me and say, "Hey, we're gonna be here at a certain date and time." And I, so basically, I get like the scoop. Okay. Oh. I just said scoop. You did say scoop. That's so weird. I got the scoop. Yeah. You got a little just press hat you wear. One. Press. I do. I'm gonna type. Can you hear me typing? Yeah. So you're like, <laughs> uh, you're like, uh, uh, Rajesh. Take care of that there in the comments. Whoever the hell's asking that. Um, I'm not sure. I don't have that. I believe that Spaniard check the comments. Yeah. Here. All right. I now I'm gonna go away, but not literally. I'm gonna get her that phone number so she can call in. So I'm gonna. Who's I'm, she? Who are we talking about now? Who's calling? Uh, uh, Sue. Uh, Sue's hot sister. So. Oh yeah. dear. Oh, no. I think it's the daughter. Is it? Is my? It is. Is my face red? I think that's her sister. This is a goddamn Cal City reunion show. I'm surprised we have like. Sherilyn, yeah, right? Sherilyn is your well, sister. Like, like yes. four of them. Okay, so, yeah, that's, okay. that's I'm trying to get. But I think it was here. my son messaging. Oh, uh, that's yeah. Probably, we don't want any. No, no guys. We don't want any shenanigans. <laughs> Especially, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want your son on the phone. You know, yeah, after and what, he's 15. So. After what me and you. Had, yeah, that wouldn't be right. Inappropriate. 15 years ago. Hold on a second, Sue. When was it? 15. <laughs> right. Yeah, oh, 96. No, you're you're safe. No, I was... think you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Uh, so what are some of the what are some of the Just venues? Just gonna get a little bit of cancer, Stan. Some of the venues you have booked some of these bands at. I don't do any of the booking. That's what's really. We're cool. not booking. I mean, some of the bands you promote where they where they appear or oh, perform. Oh, I at, get it. Okay. You know? Well, we talked about our friend George over at Bad Court. Um, yeah, Bad Court. Hell of a place. My friend Brian, he uh, plays in a band called Dirtborn. They're kind of like a '90s grunge grunge tribute band. So that's um, they played at George's 10 year anniversary party. I didn't so they're really fun to, to play, like hear because they like songs Station we kind of like grew up with, like in our twenties and stuff. You know, um, not like jukebox playing music. So they're live bands. They play at Georgia's. My my um, another friend of mine, Beaver Beaver Lopez, plays really? in one of my very favorite bands, Even Flow. It's a Pearl Jam tribute band, and they're 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 playing at the Room in Highland on March twenty second. And you, there's a link. That I think I sent you the link. Yeah. What's the name of that one? What's the name of that band? Even Flow. Even Flow. All right. Let me let me cue yeah. this up here. Stand by. Not very original, are they? 
They're a tribute well, band. You know, you band. Tribute. Jesus. You yeah. gotta kind of like, what are they, you know, spo- make the what are they supposed to be called? Like some fucking ACDC? Song? Hey, we're a Pearl Jam cover band. What's their name gonna be? Fuck yeah. Struck. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, my oh, brother's uh, band, so. Oh, what happened? Stand by. I'm, I'm bringing up their, uh, their Facebook page of Even Flow, the Ultimate Pearl Jam Tribute Band. Here yeah, they've been one. around for a really long time, but they really only play one show a year now, so. Really? Oh, oh I'm well. not gonna... Okay, so I'm a very huge <laughs> Pearl Jam fan, but yeah. I've, I've, even flow when i went to their show last year i they're amazing they're that was like the best three hours i've ever three hours wow they that's played a... for three hours yeah so jesus they're, they're really Did great you, were you uh were well, you in the front play, wait a minute 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 all right wait a minute all right get this off the screen <laughs> stand by yes sir <laughs> making nope people are missing out on my beautiful face there you go there we <laughs> go <laughs> much better um <clears throat> Let me get this straight. A Pearl Jam band, excuse mm-hmm. me, a Pearl Jam tribute band was on stage yeah. for over three hours. Oh, yeah. Three. Okay. Yeah. So three after hours. they play s- probably the six good songs off of ten and maybe the three good songs off of verses, what I'm else do they you're really not a big Pearl Jam fan. Song. What, is, what well, do they Pearl break Jam into songs are like, like 15 like, minutes long a piece anyways? No, they're not. They're all radio friendly. Then what do they break into, like Zeppelin or something? Or what do they do to fill they the rest of the very, tour? Very the Who. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they play Quadrophenia. <laughs> yeah, I, I went I, I went to it. They probably blow through the entire discography of Pearl Jam going back to, like, you know, 1990 to present. So, you know, Ooh, they, if you were they bring, not born they, when do, their first band came out. Do they bring out the, the Do they bring out the Mookie Blaylock, like, EP or something? They do have some deep cuts. I'm gonna uh-huh. say they do. Mm. See, gotcha there, huh? See, yeah. see, thought I didn't know what the hell I was talking Tried about. Right, the stumper. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Doc was like two, I think, in 1991. He was just being conceived. Yes. Yeah. Maybe Pearl <laughs> Jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah there it is. I'm gonna have to ask your parents. Gross and gross. Did you get that number out there one time? Oh, doing? I'm sorry. No, you were giving. You were. You were. Uh, I was blabbing. Demanding. Well, you told me not to because I'm it was her sorry. son. You said no guys. So oh, I, I thought that. you said it was a chick. So grab him by the pussy. Yeah, one of them. Well, go ahead. Can talk amongst yourselves. I'll still, I'll find the number. Hold on. Oh, okay. All right. So let's see. Uh, oh, we were one, talking about venues. So <laughs> there. Yeah. Um... Okay. So you just you just promote them. So these bands got you on like retainer. Well, no, not retainer because oh, that would involve money. That would money. indicate I'm taking some kind right. of money, but I don't. Oh. So they just call you up and because your buddy's with them, and they say, "Hey Sue, we're playing here at this date," and you go, "All right." Bring some peeps, yeah. And you spread the word. I do. If you guys ever see that on my Facebook page, I'll like I. I do. I thought that was like one of your kids' bands or something. Well, my I have a family of musicians. My brother is in a band. He used to play in Kung Fu, um, which was a uh, Foo Fighters tribute band. Now he's in a band called Working Plus Zero that is playing at Off Square Brewery on. Saturday. No, I'm sorry. On the 17th, St. Patrick's Day at two o'clock. Oh, so, hey, let me let me ask you a question. Sure. Let me let me ask you, Sue. <laughs> Being the local band tribute type aficionado that you appear to be, more so than I am. Okay. At what age do you think you should let the dream die? Well, I don't think that you really have to do that. Oh. What dream is that? Because they all have regular jobs. I'm, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not. Nothing against. Trust me. This is. This is purely for my own entertainment. Because there's somebody you. that I've had this argument with in my own personal Sean life, not ogre dealings. But okay. <laughs> at what age do you put down the axe and say, you know what? It's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna happen. Um. Well, I don't know. I think that. Most of these guys, now that they all are older, they've been in playing in bands since they were, you know, doing, what did we call that at TF North? when we Nicole that, says like, never. Metal Rock song? Fest? Rock what Fest? Yeah. Meteor Fest. Rock Meteor Fest. Fest. Or, yeah, Meteor what Fest was the, was the other one? Sta- the stage show was the stage show, and then there was Rock Fest. Yeah, so they, like my brother's first band played with Jenny, Jenny Province's daughter, or daughter, brother. Then they, they played, like, these kids, that these guys that are still in bands playing to people, they've been playing since they were kids. So now they're teaching their kids to play, and their kids are getting together and playing in bands. So, first of all... And they told two friends. 
Correct. <laughs> Where's what you need to like put all the little boxes I, on the screen? I just I just think once you well, hit so, a certain age, you should you should like put away the the. the why? The if you're having the, fun, what the, does it it's matter? A, it's yeah. The, like, I mean, they all oh, have no, regular no, no, no. jobs. I, 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 I got you. I got you. But if you're going to like your your buddy's bar or something, or if you're playing in a freaking garage or something, yeah, fine. But if you're if you're dressing up and pretending that you're still like. Third, and again, I'm not talking There's about. There's not really you know, a lot of dressing up happening. I, 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 not, no, not dressing up, but where, people wearing <laughs> people. If you wear clothes thirty years younger than like you should be wearing, and you're Why going to some bar, some bar in the city, and playing in Chicago, and trying to get like get like your record deal, man, and you're 52, <laughs> it might be time to hang it okay, up. So that's, I, that's my I, point. This is what I'm gonna say. Yeah, like that. My brother plays in a few bands, and he's in one band, and it's called Children in Heat, and they're a Misfits tribute band. Oh, and every year well, I bet they that, play. I bet that's got a big following. <laughs> it does. That's what I'm trying to say is that, like, people our age that, well, you know, yeah. you, you can't go see the Misfits anymore, obviously. So you're going to go well, and it's a fun time, and, you know, you kind of hang out and have some drinks. And Why, why would anybody want to go see the Misfits in the first place? <laughs> well, if you have to ask me that question, I don't know if we can be friends. <laughs> now that's a band I want that to see is. right there. That's yeah. now, now Ogre, come on now. You remember yeah. back in the day. Now we're we're now, now Doc, bear with us because we're you you're outnumbered here. You have uh three people that are from the class of eighty nine. But you know, Gross. thinking about that, the misfits and everything like that, there was a guy, a cat, one of the guys we used to hang out with, would go to, to the to the people that would listen to the misfits and like Duran Duran and all those types of you know, new type, and he would go up to them and just go, Bono, like right in their face. <laughs> like now, Ogre, you know who I'm talking about. And, you know, but that <laughs> that that brought, you know, cultural diversity back. In the, in the yeah. you know, my, my Smoke another. Heavy metal and, and you know, punk. That's the, that's, the same, that's the same guy that used to snort the powdered donut sugar off the cafeteria tables too <laughs> gross that's yeah, calumet city right there for it you. Is. we use pixie sticks in my days he pixie did that sticks. until he did that until he forgot a straw <laughs> one day and somebody who sat at his table who shall remain nameless mm. poured salt in his sh- Ooh, is it Voldemort? <laughs> no it was me and oh. then he snorted up the powdered donuts with salt in it and that did not end well for him i guess i didn't have lunch with you guys because i don't know who we're talking about but anyway yeah, i guess not Speaking yeah, of there was uh that I guess I guess to each his own. I don't care. I just like to poke fun and be a dick. That's I mean that's just, why I'm that's why I'm you. gonna I'm playing. I'm I'm trying to get my Julio Iglesias uh, cover band started. I it's heard a solo you serenading career. earlier. Yeah, I was practicing, so you know. It was so, great. so ogre, <laughs> piss off, okay? That's my dream. That is we his should, dream. We should do a. Bank this one. is supposed to be motivational speaking. Yeah, come on, motivated. That's, if it. you're, if you're, if if that's what you're looking for, you're in the wrong place, sister. Yeah, uh, the I name of to, the show doesn't match yeah, what actually I have happens to explain here. That almost now. every week to people. I thought this was supposed to be motivational. Yeah, here's a motive. If you're looking for motivation for me, I'm going to motivate you to kill yourself. Now we why don't you what about change the name? Drink our motivation. I'm not changing the name because I like the name. Damn it, he loves it. I do. Right. All right, where are we? Okay. okay. Don't you have well, some, I, I understand you have some sort of reunion information? Yes, you are a committee. You're a committee member. Tell I, us, tell us. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, um, so believe it or not, it's going to be 30 years in a few months, kind of-ish, that yeah. we graduated 30, from high school. 30 years since what? 30 years, no. That, that's 30 elementary. Years. 30 that's years. 30 years, Elementary Sean. school. Damn. 30 years? Preschool. It was a preschool so, reunion. The fuck wow. happened? Have you guys picked out your uh, gray sites yet? Got it. Yeah. I'm getting cremated. Hey, that you say that, actually, my bodyguard decided that maybe that should be the theme, kind of like over the hill nursing home theme. Ooh. Kind of like. Oh. Have some I don't know, but it's only 30. Yeah. We're, I we think should... we're pretty good shape. I think most of I us think are so too. looking I mean, good, man. When our parents went to their 30 year class reunion, exactly. They had like See? beehive hairdos and, you know, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So, but anyway, so we're in the in the very early planning stages of the, yes. I, rumor has it it's going to be at a Golden Corral. <laughs> Before four. Old country buffet. Before four. Before no. four. Before four. That'd be a good idea. I mean, I I wouldn't mind going to a Three. buffet. I haven't go to buffets, but. Who's on the committee? I, yeah, it's tell been us. requested as non-smoking, Sean. Well, tough shit. Oh. Who's on Who's on the committee? Um, me. 
Okay. Just me. No. There, there's about 10 of us or 12 of us right now. We're getting ready to have our first meeting. Um, Greg Wallman, mm-hmm. oh, Maribel Soto. I'm mean, going to use yeah. everybody's maiden name. So. Oh, there you okay. go. Yeah. Um, you can use my use Wellman's maiden name. Look, look, yeah, use Wellman's maiden name. <laughs> um, the, those of us that play in the 20 year are kind of back. Um, yes, so do. George Peitch, um, nice. Kevin Sosniak and Wally Simkis, Rob oh, Racine. And um, Patty Grigio, oh, the class was um, Jenny Kubiak, Kathy Marabelli, mm-hmm. um, Jenny Daniels. Mm-hmm. I'm going from memory, so if I forget anybody, mm-hmm. I apologize. Um, mm-hmm. But we're trying to get it together the, for the beginning of April mm-hmm. that we're going to start planning because we we have to book a venue. Um, a little birdie told me that you and Ogre might be interested in emceeing the show. No, nope. yeah, Ogre, so, I. I volunteered us. I volunteered. Wow. Uh, so I was trying that. to be like all cool about it, but you just blew that one. Yeah, I know. No, we we got this big invitation. Uh, it's it's uh, we're gonna be in the green room. They got the uh, champagne. It's gonna be a uh, bottle service for our behind the scenes. It's gonna be set up nice. I don't remember nicely. if champagne being involved, but uh, maybe Boone's I, Farm. In hey, hey, I'll deal with it. Him. Hey, you know what? We could do that, and we could have the. Uh... <laughs> Can bring their daughters. We'll be just fine. <laughs> bring your kids with. Uh, set up your kids with your. Uh, yeah, leave the up... leave the leave the sons at home. You can bring your kids, but leave your sons alone. Well, anyone that has, has a kids, child that's the age of twenty-one. They're raping everybody out here. Twenty-one. What, what, yeah, they have to be they, twenty-one. What, don't we got the eighteen, nineteen, and twenty-year-olds? Come on, they can have fun too. So Sue, do we have a location yet, like a geographic uh, area well, yet? Coming into since this. There's... Some of us that live in Illinois still. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm thinking maybe somewhere along the border, like Highland. Um, oh, I thought you meant couple... like Mexico, Texas kind of a thing. Oh, the Wisconsin know. border. Ooh. Why not make it a destination type thing? No, I don't, I don't got time for that. A destination to like Golden Corral? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can have it right on the border in like Whiting. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there oh, a casino. Some, here's yeah. a, a Oh, that would be fun. I mean, we're all open to suggestions, so. Okay. Lincoln Field, BYOB. Yeah, I, like I said Lincoln Field from the beginning. I like Rob's idea, awesome. man. And then we could run from the cops. Right, like the to Randy days. Velasquez, or Randy Rodriguez's house. Yes, there we go, man. See? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sean, you about. know we did that. Come on. This is, devo- this is devolving. And you see, exactly Ogre, now, and now we have military training. We could have camouflage, and we don't exactly. have to run as fast. Yeah, Jesus. You guys could all cover us. Ogre was in the wrong military for that. Yeah. Oh, yes, I heard about that. Wrong military. I'm, I'm sorry, what? What was, I, what was I in, like, the North Korean military? What the fuck are you talking about? He was in Tennessee. He had Tennessee camouflage, which was Milker's overall. man over here. It was a, yeah, no teeth. Oh, that's craziness. I, I, I'm just wondering, <laughs> since you guys are a veterans uh, organization. Yes. How many of you that graduated with us or around our age are actually former military. I know I, I learned how to use the word former Marine. There you go. Yes, because mm-hmm. my bodyguard Yuck. is a former Marine. Right. So um, I'm trying to be Ooh, nice, wow. but I'm just wondering, like, how many of you, you know, served? I would like, say that's a good question. I don't know. All of them. I would say one <laughs> out of five, <laughs> one out of we seven. We were drafted. <laughs> we were drafted, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was a military wife during that time. I was stationed in uh, Hawaii. so Get I was, out of here. You were stationed in Hawaii? Wow. Off the top yes. of my head, Paulie, Jeff, Rosiak. Oh, we were just talking about tie pants, Rosiak. Me. Tie pants, uh, Rosiak? I thought it was a vest. Bill Nichols. Leather vest. Uh, <laughs> I had so many names for him. But tie pants was the one we that tie stuck. Um, he, had, he had nutcrackers. Uh, what about girls? Were there any girls that graduated with us that went to the military that is a good question yeah i don't know we'll have to uh your committee is going to have to ask that is questions. an excellent question i think that's yeah. a, an excellent question and this is what this is what i want to just like bring it back around to music bring thing, it back, about yes. for, like, giving up your dream kind of thing so for a lot See? of people music is kind of an escape so yes. you know it's like therapy and um i think that a lot of people would agree with that so i don't think you need to ever give up your dream or go finish or think you're too old to go see bands or go to a rave or anything like no, that. No, no, really... you completely missed my point. You missed yeah. my point. <laughs> I just I know. missed your point. I'm ev- evading the point. If you want to go to, go watch and go listen and do whatever the hell you want. But I love to dance. 
don't think, think he was just picking on a single deal. person in particular. Yeah. <laughs> all yes. I need is three. One three single shoes. person. And let me let me let me explain to everybody, all all of our sixty eight hundred viewers tonight. It is not you I am talking about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I can I will I will bet my right and left testicle that you are not watching the person I am thinking of. Uh, the end. Yeah. There so you go. don't get all offended. <laughs> Never give up your dream, man. We can preach it for the stars. <laughs> I'm going to get that record. Does anybody even get record deals anymore? Uh, actually, my brother, they when he was younger, back in the day, they, they went back to California. They were done. My brother still does recording. For yeah, okay. Okay. Hey, tell actually. your... Tell tell your tell your party planning committee which which I which I you get your bitch ass back in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> tell your tell your tell your uh, your reunion committee which I apparently my invitation was lost in the mail there but we'll talk about it that was, later. It was it was it um, was not meant yeah. to be exclusive. Tell them tell them to make sure make sure to get a DJ and not one of these crappy bands. I don't want to see I don't want to see three hours of a Pearl Jam cover band. <laughs> yeah, yeah so no you. three hours. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so take a vote. Safety I dance. Mean, Safety dance. You gotta have the safety dance. Here we got the Morrissey cover band. We got a Morrissey, a Smith tribute band for <laughs> Sue and Nicole to watch. Yay! Yay! Like we really yes. And game. the cure. We have the cure. It's called the disease. That's the come on, yeah. Rajesh. That's 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 about 15 years prior to our graduation. Right? He doesn't know that. He doesn't know. He doesn't yeah, know. Huh? He was yeah, a baby. yeah, he does. So what's <laughs> what's the um. Is there going to be a dress code, or is this going to be formal, semi-formal? Well, this beach? is what I'm. This is why I'm kind of talking about this because we just we gonna get a little bit met... of cancer, Stan. <laughs> I see that every time I'm not catching on. We're we're still in the early process of planning, so we're taking. You know, I'm taking information from people. I'm trying to reach everybody because now that we're all on the interwebs and there is no like piece of paper I need to mail anyone. Right. Yeah. You know, we can all maybe we can get more people to attend. Last time, like ten years ago, we had a really great turnout, but I don't remember Tony being at the ten year. Wasn't invited. <laughs> I wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't in charge of it then. No, Sean, you were there, right? Uh, I was there. I was there with wife number two. Wife number two. Tony, I'm going to guess you were not in the area back then. No, then. I was uh, knee deep in Grenada. I was doing uh, some missions in the deep correct. forest bush in Grenada. I met this yeah. little local woman. She wanted to get my balls right off. It was a rough night. We got out of the line. Need my lighter. Yeah. It's all in your past now, but those lonely nights still remember. Okay, I'm back. Gay, yeah, yeah. Jesus. but no, I'm yeah, I'm all for it. I'm excited. I'm actually excited for this because, uh, yeah, I like reading. Well, we have a lot of people that are very excited and a lot of people that are um contacting me already. Um, so I think to get the word out there more is the best idea, you know. Well, um, we will, um, uh, we will do our best to promote it here on this show as well as the other shows, and uh, right, we'll do our best. Well, you know what happens after 30, you kind of get glommed together. And then you're yeah. part of the group that they like have to go to the with to the reunion with people who've been graduated for like six yeah, years. Yeah, like the ten year. If you if you graduated between 1990 and yeah. 1999, this is your reunion for you. Right. Come oh, on, fuck that. Uh, yeah. yeah, boo. Yeah, there's an actual like standing committee, and they have paper, you know, little. Yeah. I don't want to go. I don't want to go and see any of them people from '88. Fuck them. No. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! Who did. the hell? Cash. All I know is I was wondering watching... how long it would take for Jen. <laughs> yeah, no. I've been watching a lot of uh, what's her name, uh, J Lo. Well, that no, the J Lo dancing moves, and then so you think you could dance, and now Americans got talent. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm ready to dance, man. I've been doing a lot of yoga. Of I picked are. up that Alfonso Ribeiro Ribeiro teaches you how to break dance. I saw that on Facebook. I got that there. You go. Pulled that out. Are you gonna Do pull it. out the break dancing moves? Maybe. Do it, ogre. Yeah. Oh, there you He's go. He's gonna do the Carlton. That's right. Mm -hmm. I think that's I my made... that's the staple of my dance moves. Right? I was gonna mm -hmm. say that, but you know, I didn't want to be mean. Very that nice. and a white guy overbite me. Uh, yes, you have nice. to do that. That's nasty. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. See? I Who can knows? do it too. Can't yeah. rob DJ doesn't rob. I mean, you don't even need a DJ anymore. All you, need is, you just need a computer with a lot of music on Agreed. it. Agreed. Yeah. Cheesy. Okay. So oh, or I'm cheesy. Not... Yeah. Saint John. Other the other Saint John. Okay. So I yeah I saw a video of this guy that looked just like him. Have you guys seen mm -hmm. this video of the DJ that dances? It looks just like no. Mike St. John, and I thought... I'll have to look that up. Do you know oh, what I'm talking about? The guy dancing with the big, with the bushy beard and the... Yeah, doesn't it look I... like him? 
Yeah, it does. Looks, I oh, thought man, that was I him. It. Looks like him minus about a hundred. I said to the yeah, it looks, yeah. Isn't that him? Isn't that Mike St. John? Wow. Okay, I'll have to check that out, man. You, you, right. you do. You have to check it out. I, I, I'll, I'll send you the link. Linda right. said, uh, "Rajesh can DJ for us." Yeah, <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> Is there going to be any Bollywood numbers we'll have to practice? Oh, oh there you go. You make it fun. a Bollywood theme. This way, you just wear. We wear the, um, you know, the the traditional. I'll no, just do the big dance number at the end. That's of the, it. Yeah. When okay. Everybody's I'm leaving down. for the I night. I can't do. I can't do Indian food though, man. I'll, I'll we can like, bring Jason Vincent wants to know if someone said dancing. Yeah, I think dancing is the theme. Who we'll wanted to, to know uh, that? Jason, Jason Vincent. Jason Vincent. Oh, yeah, that's Jason Eric. <laughs> Get out, no kidding. Dancing. Holy yeah. shit, another guy, another blast from the past. He's yeah, watching. we like to stay incognito, you know what I mean? That is good, yeah. yeah but People he's sneak around. Dance. We're going to bring him out on the dance floor. No line dancing, though. Right? No, I can't do country. Sorry, yeah, I can't do country. everybody who likes country music. I, yeah. Nobody likes country. Yeah. There are people. No, they aren't. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm gonna get my old uh, cabaret. They're like gingers; out. they don't have souls. Um, That's right. Yes. Oh wait, I think your beard's red. His? Uh, my beard might be a little bit red. What does? <laughs> That's yeah, because never mind. of the, the speed that I go down on women. That's why it has the the red flames coming out. Okay. Guys, see. That goes oh back to our goodness. vagina conversation. Good lord. <laughs> All right. Does the let's move, match let's... the drapes, or what? No, is the carpet, the carpet match the... the drapes? Yeah. Let's, 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 let's no, move, it actually let's doesn't. Let's move along here. All well, right. Doc, Doc definitely likes a topic now that he that he he could actually talk about. I got a topic <laughs> yeah. for you. I got a I got a, I got one for you. When do uh, yeah? Well, pretty much. Except I saw the <laughs> except I saw the the the, the ass end, mm. literally uh, coming out of coming out of Target. Did we already talk about this? No, this was on my Facebook post. What happened? Oh, well, yes. Chick's, coming out of Target, this chick's wearing these, or I'm coming out and she's coming in. And I'm with my daughter, and this girl's got these fucking yoga pants on. She's like 25 or so. And they're just, I don't think she was wearing any underwear either, because you could mm. see the crack of her ass. Well, like, that's the thing. They don't literally. really. Now, let me let me ask you. Sir, Sue, yes. you're, you're, you're a female, correct? I am. Last okay. I checked. Hold so on. You're, so you're Hold aware. On. She's checking. Hold on. She's checking. You're, you're aware you of, like, <laughs> how much of your, like, boobs and buttocks are exposed pretty much at any time, right? Uh, absolutely. Well, see, well, there you go. Okay, that proves my point. There, see, point proven. It's true. So, are those 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 pants aren't just worn just to go to yoga and or exercising? No, they're they? called Target pants. Well, they hmm. are called Target. Well, she was in Target. Let me tell you. There hmm. you go. Maybe she was wearing the. Uh, market. She was wearing the uniform of the day. So. Correct. That's, that's, she is. She was not in the wrong. No. I'm gonna okay. wear Target pants at Target tomorrow. I'm gonna do that. So. I think it would be a good look. When you get the it. when you get the when you get the evil looks from the chick, I mean, even if you're not staring, if you happen she to like give fucking her, wear them, if she give her a, be give, at. Her, give her a glance or two, they 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 shouldn't be surprised if somebody's looking at their jugs. Well, here's the problem I feel. All right, lay it on me. With Ooh. the younger girls, they like to throw it out there, but they don't want you looking at it. Oh, is well, that that's what it just is. not fair. I agree. I don't even look. I don't look at nothing. Oh, my, even when I go to the bank teller, I don't even I don't even look at the bank teller. I don't. I don't, I don't you know. Know. Sunglasses. No eye, no eye contact. Don't look, look at me. Don't look at me. That's what the bodyguard does. So they want to yeah. show it off, but they don't want you looking. Well, and first of all, you're probably it's the same age as her father. So yeah, you don't want that. No. Kind of Unless and, and, and truly, would you really? Yeah, want that is kind of gross. Yeah, the daddy issue thing going I'm on. Not, uh, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. I didn't say I was bringing her back for fucking like to my family's house for Thanksgiving and stuff. I was just looking right. at her ass. Yeah, and, but if she's well, looking at you and like, and she's like, oh, well, he's like my dad. Why is my dad looking at me like that? Well, I think what. Oh, I don't care about the questioning looks. It's when you get the frumpy, like, bitch face, like, how dare you look at me? Some people, mm-hmm. that's just their face. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like a 25 year old. I'm talking, you know, my, my fucking range. I go from. Yeah. Hey, look at, look at 80 year olds like that. They'll love it. I do. No, they they don't either. year olds will love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. You'd be saying. surprised. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe they those, look at me and go, who's your that? your daughter was with you. Maybe right. that was yeah, the upsetting could be just part. You. I don't know. Could have been yeah. just me. I probably have a complex. Get well, out of here, you stalker. You should wear the pants, Ogre. You should you should go into Target wearing, like, Target the pants. brightest, like, the most obscene-looking color <laughs> pants and wear that. Commando, correct. I agree. Yeah, you Ooh, should wear yoga pants. What, like, uh, like, like fucking like sprinters pants that they wear in the Olympics yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Why not? I'll send you a pair. I'll send you some of mine. 
Cool. Just, yeah. We'll, we'll we can that. videotape it. Do it. Or you could do like a, a 70s style gym uniform. Hey, one of our sponsors join us. George Peitch, the Serb is, uh, he's watching. Hey, Welcome to the show, George. Those white male gymnast pants walking oh, around in darkness. Yes. Oh. There you go. Excuse that me, be, tap somebody hilarious. on the shoulder. Can you tell me where I can find it? They them? might ask you to leave. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. I'd that love to see that. that make for some Excuse, good me, sir. Excuse me, miss. My eyes are up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, like that. That is very cool. I think so, we actually got something. Yeah. So professionally, Sue, what do you what do you do for uh, for your nine to five? Are you a nine to fiver or are you I like? I am. I am the nine to fiver, and I have a super exciting job. Really? What it lay it on us? What do you? I doing? write insurance policies. Oh yeah, that is. <laughs> that is. Property man, that is, casualty. Come see. Yeah, it's PNC, man. That's PNC, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I've, done, I've I've been with the same agent for like five years, so yeah. I love it. I do love That's my good. job though. That's good. It's, re- it's one of those things like everybody needs that, you know, you need it like a necessary evil. Yeah. Let me ask you this, Sue. How about the uh, office hijinks? You guys got a lot of office shenanigans oh, and well, hijinks there. I work there. with all women and one man. Nice. Yeah. Oh. And I take it the man the man is the, the agent, I take it, the right? Agent. The guy. Yeah, I knew so, it. I knew it. Oh, what a surprise. We're, we're the guy's horrible. in charge. Let me just tell you, women are horrible. <laughs> you guys got nothing on women because we sexually harass our UPS man right. daily. No shit. Daily. Yes, Doug. Huh. Doug, the UPS man. I'm he enjoys borrow. our company, yes. He comes through the back you... door every day. Nice. Every I like day. Doug. That's my kind of guy. Said. I'm going to have to borrow a, a UPS outfit. Okay. Nice. Nice really, setup. That's so. all. You could be you could be anybody and put on that brown uniform and just you know wander in with gifts. See, uh, I'm See? gonna get a bunch of guys hold, together. Hold it, hold it right there. Hold it. That's an, that's another one of my theories about oh. women's. Then why are all these women ruining it for the rest of us? Fuck hold you, on. bitches. For doing Slow it. down. <laughs> What's what Sue just said is what I've said before several times on this. You could yeah. take me and. I don't know who else, some other dopey looking goof that like me, and put us in firemen's outfits. Yes. And women oh, yeah. would lose it. Oh, They'd yeah. have to God. like change their panties just I'm for losing it right now thinking off. about it. Mm. Yeah. I'm telling you. See? So, and look, Sue's agreeing with me. I, I, I totally with agree with you. And yep. um it's a it's a thing. It's uniforms. You yep. could be you could be like the mechanic or the UPS guy or you know, the drill sergeant. It doesn't matter what that uniform looks like, truthfully. Mm. Say what? Secret. Maybe a prison uniform? I'm going to have to dig out my old scout master, master <laughs> uniform there from when I ran the cat. Well, like, it's different. Coat. You guys know that you have the Catholic school girl thing? No. No, nurses. yeah, but that doesn't apply to nurses? someone that's like oh, yeah, 50 or 60 years old. Yeah, I guess the uniform. You're right, Sue. You do got something. Old as women uniforms. Nurse yeah. was nurse was wife number one, and let me tell you, they don't look like the chicks in like the Halloween nurse outfits that you see on Google. Oh, I know. Well, it's not 1965 anymore either. Sure. We were. I was a nursing student, so we Rob were nuns. Scrubs. Seriously, Rob nuns. <laughs> the older ones. That doesn't shock me. Man, what's under that black garb? <laughs> the Imagine. older nuns. What the uh, fuck? Nicole says Sue has a huge soft spot for uniforms. Really? Thank you. Good lord. Yes. Man. Um. Let's see. The first husband was in the army. Okay. Um, second husband, firefighter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uniform set. And I, now I, I got have a marine. Another marine. Look at that. See? Yeah. that. Oh man. Marines are okay. They are okay. I could dig it. I could dig it. Yeah. So All you right. guys have the same thing. It's just girls don't, you know. Actually, women are worse. Oh, we got a question here. What about a uh, birthday our uniforms? Creepiness? We can be total creepers, and you guys don't care. I think that was yeah because guys don't care. That's a different thing. Yeah, that's, yeah. I don't care. Like uh, that's had that at work. I had a woman who was who was t- trying to bring up sexual harassment charges on somebody, and she's in there with me and my assist, well, my fake assistant manager, and uh, he who's also a male. <laughs> and she's like, "Well, how would you like it if I came up to you and I said, you know, hey, I think you're looking really good today, and smacked you on the ass." And he looked at her, and he's looking at me, and he's trying to keep from laughing. And I'm like, "Okay, maybe that's not the best example to get." And she leaves, and he's like, "What was I supposed to say there?" I'm like, "Tell her the fucking truth. Tell her it wouldn't have bothered you." You know? And sometimes right. I put I put lighter fluid on my ass and set it on fire just so that women can put it out, just, just to get that, <laughs> like that touch. Yeah. 
Oh, and, and I, I guess I have to say a special hello to uh, George because his feelings were hurt there. In the I was going to send you a message. George. I am no, too. Me. I, I apparently I don't acknowledge him anymore, even though I said that I said give the plug and said it was a nice place for what the hell's the name? I of did, it? and it's I brought it up back, twice. Is it back court or back? A back court bar and grill located court, in Crown yes. Point, Illinois. Crown Point, Indiana. There it was. Give there. Him a call. It's Crazy. little Calumet City out here. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Everybody mysteriously moved out to Northwest Indiana. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a mystery. Yeah, I know. Okay. I so that's that's exactly. Happy Illinois. There is a restaurant out here that actually sells Mish sausage, if anybody's interested. Ooh, where's oh, that at? God. In oh, God. we got to go about this again. Oh, Every... square. Uh, let me, oh I'll my give you... God, who yes. the hell I, I, I agree, Doc. Every every town, every Thank you, Rich, in, in every town in America has a restaurant or a place where everybody who lived there and grew up there thinks it's the whatever – uh, product X, whatever it is, sausage or cheeseburgers or pop or fucking some kind of salt taffy candy or whatever, they think that is the best ever in the universe. Mm. People talk about those Mish fucking sausages. I see it all the time on Facebook. I'm taking a special trip to Cal City to get my Mish sausage. I'm like, it's fucking sausage. It's not that fucking great. People like it lose their that mind. Great. George it's said, "Thank you." Nostalgia. Oh, nostalgia. That's what you're paying for. You're paying. You're 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 driving back. Yeah. 30 hours to your life into your own hands <laughs> yes, you're going to, <laughs> to buy fucking sausage that you thought was great because you're you ate it with your dad and fucking sundays i'm like come on More days. and we have to go to panos well is that place different... still open <laughs> of course really we should totally go there after the reunion Ooh, pass that's an idea like there's a problem right. on the wall of our school i hear you rajesh let's uh let's put a bow on this fucker Let's go. Get with the... Uh, pay attention, Sue. You might learn okay, something then. here. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Sue. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for and having me. Some wonderful info to those to any TF North class of 1989 graduates out there, which is probably 100% of our fucking viewership hey, tonight. you got to play to your audience. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. I I I, I got you on that. Uh, those people that are in the audience, uh, not everything on Black Sheep Bravo here is just... Insane ramblings of me about women's and uh, Doc what? making penis jokes. Uh, we also <laughs> have uh, uh, what's what's the other fucking show? Spaniard, take it away. This is your uh, part. Tell them all about Black Sheep. Bravo. We got the Hung and the Restless featuring 007. We <laughs> no, the real uh, stuff. Oh, the real stuff. Uh, no, we got uh, we got well the roundtable show, Mark. which is on Friday. We have uh, a couple other segments throughout the week uh, that I do called the As If series. Um, as a philosophy of the series, I didn't do one this week. I'm, I'm in the process of moving. So, uh, but yeah. we got, uh, beyond the thin blue line with devil dog, uh, always wear your vest. Um, and then, yeah, the real deal with double O coming up pretty soon here. As soon as he gets his mic all situated. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. Black sheep Bravo is a veteran based organization. What are we called? Media conglomeration. Uh, media what platform. Are we? <laughs> yeah. I'm still yeah. working on that and, elevator uh, speech. Most of the media most, conglomerate. Yes. Most yeah. of the other stuff is geared at base towards veterans, but Monday motivation is geared toward my insane thoughts. Dream smashing. I think up at, yes. And, yeah. and smashing dreams at fucking 7 PM central, mostly every Monday night. Somebody's got to do it, Sean. Or, uh, yeah. I know. And uh, You're the voice of the world. Oh yeah. Here's what we got for our new viewers. Today is March 11th. Today is March 11th, 2019, and we're going to take you back no. in history and go over some today's births and deaths, and we'll have some fun with it. So hit me with All my right. music one more time. I Maybe. love this song. Okay. Yeah, that sounded really professional, man. It did sound professional. Waiting for Walter Cronkite. Yeah. This breaking yeah. news is going. <laughs> March 11th. March 11th. Only two things in history stuck out stuck out with me today. <laughs> March 11th, 1983. Hilarious. March 11th, 1983. <laughs> Pakistan successfully conducts a cold test of a nuclear weapon. Mm. So how it was about cold. That? It was cold. I don't understand. I don't know what a cold test of a nuclear weapon is, but Last I'm sure... Time. Sure, it was bad. Yeah, I'm sure. March Those, 11th, uh... March 11th, 1993, Janet Reno is confirmed by the United States Senate oh, and sworn man. in the next day, becoming the first female Attorney General of the United States. <gasps> yeah. And in my book, the hottest Attorney yeah, General. Yeah, she was. Oh, yeah, I agree. She was something. Boy, I'd like to. 
Okay. I'll drink that bath water. Now, here we go. Is uh, <laughs> Has anybody seen it? Okay, there he is. Oh, 81 rules. We've <laughs> made my, that Joker is here from, uh, from Texas by way of Maryville or wherever the fuck he lives now. Here we go. Now, here's the, here's the thing, Sue. We're going to do people that were born on March 11th oh. and a couple people that died on March 11th. Okay. I give some clues. Okay. And you have to guess. Oh. But not right away because we have a delay. You have to. You have to. Yes, we do have. We, there's right a, there's away. a twenty some second delay. 20. Yeah, and plus we have to give uh, Mrs. Doc time to Google it. So. Oh right, right, right. I <laughs> she does not Bradley Google it. Okay. Yeah, yeah where is he? Why is he hiding? Where's he's where, watching where? the show? And oh, okay. Shirtless. Yeah. Come alone. Jesus. Right, let's let's wrap this up. Doc probably has to take a shit. He had to put All some right. clothes back on. So. Born March 11th. Born March 11th, 1895. Now you got guys got to subtract. Born March 11th, 1895. He was an American comedic actor, and once again, a member of a famous brothers group. Oh, okay. All right. He was a comedian. Comedic yeah. actor. Oh, he said 1895. He was born in 18. No, I don't give odds choices. That oh. would be much Come on, Sue. Get with the program. Yeah, yeah I thought you watched show. this show before. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, yeah. Groucho <laughs> Marx. Okay. That's a, that's a, uh, he said that's a good Groucho Marx. That's a good guess, but wrong. Uh, Moore and Howard. Who? I think that's supposed to be Mo. That is also. Mo oh, Howard is also. Says. Mo Howard is Marx also Brothers. incorrect. Chemp Howard. Zippo Marks. Oh, <laughs> Zippo. Oh, Marks brother. <laughs> Zippo. We get Zippo was last that? week. The correct answer by Linda. Linda. Chemp Howard. Chemp Howard. Very good, Linda. There's that, there's that Linda chiming in again. Very like nice. To, yeah, you know, I'd like to figure out who she is one of these days. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's on. not her real name. Maybe it's not. She could be incognito. She could March, be. Born March 11th, 1950. Born March 11th, 1950. American singer, songwriter, producer, and conductor. So this is right up your alley, Sue. He had a terrible song that was a number one hit. I think it was in a movie when we were in high school, maybe junior or senior year. Wow. It was, big, it was a big hit. Um, uh, that's too much of a clue. That'll give it away. He was born in 1950, had a big hit. So he was like 39 at the time? Pretty much, yeah, right around okay. there, I guess. An American singer-songwriter? An American singer-songwriter. Negative. Oh, he was another good one. Um. Oh, and just to let you know, Linda, you want a $5 gift card to buy and large for that correct answer. <laughs> Big lots. <laughs> <laughs> you win a $3 gift card to TJ Maxx. Um. Get Let's see. Here. Let me give you. Yeah, I'll give I'm you drawing a, a blank. I, conductor. I get, yeah. Well, you conduct stuff. That's not uh, a very good clue. Everyone's. Every, we have no idea what the hell you're talking about. We talking okay, a conductor at the he's, South Shore he's, Rail he's, Line or? A okay, conductor. all right. Slow down. So I'll give you. I'll give you the giveaway hint. The big yeah. song that he sang that was a big hit was a acapella song. The Don't Worry, Be Happy guy. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. Shut up. What's his name? <laughs> his name Bobby is Bobby Barron. Bobby Barron. That is correct. I don't remember Born. that song being popular when we were in high school, Sean. Well, you need to go back and look it up then, sister, because that's what it was. Mm. Yeah, I see? was too busy to listening to the Smiths. That's correct. You're, that's right. You were too busy. Oh, I'm so sad, and I cried, and I died. Yeah, great. Thanks. He was Morning. coloring your hair pink. Okay, moving green. along. I did have pink hair. I remember Born. that. Born. Born March 11th. Spaniard. Born March 11th, 1968. Here's another one. American singer, songwriter, guitarist, and actress. She was born in 1968. So get your subtraction. Get your abacus out and subtract. <laughs> and okay. She had a song that was a hit. It was a big hit. Big hit. And it was from a early, uh, the early Generation X movie. It was an early, like, uh, early, early, early wave of grunge movement. It really wasn't a grunge song, but that time Ooh, frame. I know it Alanis is. Alanis Morissette? Negative. Edie Brickell. Negative. You get one more. Uh, Belinda Carlisle. Oh, God. <laughs> she was in a movie? Maybe. But... Maybe. Stevie Nicks. No. Stevie Ooh, Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Who was the chick no, from the Bangles? What was her name? Uh, 
Uh, Nick's wasn't born in 1968. I said, right. That's what I was saying. I was, I was yelling. Who's the lead singer from the band? <laughs> uh, she, huh. she was not. She was. She was a solo was act. Too. She was a solo act. She was not known for any band. She was a solo act. She had one song, and uh, it was a big hit, and it was from a Generation X movie from the 90, early 90s. No, not Shakira. Michelle um, Brown. I'm sorry, who? Michelle Brown. No, she wears glasses. Jason is correct. Yes, she I did wear glasses. That is correct. Oh, I was thinking of that dirty chick. <laughs> that dirty chick. All what right, we got. What's that girl's name from the mm-hmm. Bengals? I can't remember. Susanna yeah, Hoffs. Susanna. Yes, yes. yes. Hubba, that's hubba, nasty. Hubba. That's not nasty, Rajesh. Mm. I will fight you over that. Rajesh, one. bite <laughs> your <laughs> tongue, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you nope. Wash your mouth out with soap for that. Nope. Uh, two deaths. We got two deaths today. <laughs> March 11, 2006. We really, I really was scraping the bottom of the barrel here. March 11, 2006. He died. He was a Serbian lawyer and politician. Oh, where's George? Is George still on? Serbian lawyer and politician. And here, this really gives it away because we're short on time. He was the Kardashian third president of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Hmm. <laughs> what? And he died. Yeah. Oh, my God, check out the big brain on Sue. Yes. It was the bodyguard. He's That's it. Than me. The bodyguard. I like that name oh. for him. The bodyguard. Does okay. he have? A, does he have a nickname yet? You know what? We're supposed to work on a delay uh, here. And we, we, our, our, yeah, our, we're supposed to work on a delay. We have to let the audience try and answer. Our, our delay. Wait, is not, wait hold on sorry, a second. I'm new. I'm new. He had. He had. A, he had a <laughs> nickname, but it, it's. What happened? It's classified. Oh. Oh Jesus. Okay. All, right. All right. We don't want to hear about your. George got it stuff. right. <laughs> George did. I knew George would get it right. Anyway, yeah. last one. Last one. Here we go. Died. Died March 11th, 2010, 2010. <laughs> Died the 20th. <laughs> cracks me up sometimes. Died March 11th, 2010. He was an American football player and actor. He was an American football player and Ooh, actor. I know who this is. He died in 2010. Sad. It was a sad day. The bodyguard has an answer. Can we whisper hmm. it? Just give, no. A second. Give it a second. Let's see. George Fight says there's a delay, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Clark Duncan. Uh, uh, Tony Chapa's guess is incorrect. Oh, wow. I thought that was it. I was, I'll tell you I was what. He was an confident. American football player who was a very good American football player. He yeah, was he was delay. known in the oh. American Football Profe- Professional League of American Football. <laughs> George Papadopoulos. <laughs> no, it was not George Papadopoulos. <laughs> Fucking that George. Alex uh, Karras. That would be Alex Karras, and that, that that answer is incorrect. Alex Karras did not die on this day in 2010. Webster did. Was not Webster's dad, no. no what team did he play for? I don't know. Hmm. Man, you got a stunt on this one, man. Is it the guy from the Goonies? It is not Dick Affless. Well, that's Dick the Bruiser. He'd be a wrestler. He wouldn't be a... Oh. The guy from the Goonies. You're thinking Sean Astin? No, it's not the oh. guy from the Goonies. No, the guy that played oh, Chunk. Sloth. Oh, Chunk. Wait a minute. No, who Sloth. Played, who played Sloth? What Michael year was McCone. it again? Um... My George, George Peitch, you have the... George Peitch has the correct acting gig that the guy had. What, Ooh. Little House on the Prairie? I know it now. Thanks, George. He gave me, he gave me the hint. I think I know it. Is that Little House on the Prairie? Do, 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 I think do. so. With mm. Laura Ingalls and uh, nope. Melissa Gilbert? Nope. Laura nope. Ingalls was Melissa Gilbert. Nope. All right. I got yes. a poster. I like Melissa Gilbert on <laughs> Babylon 5 because I'm a nerd. Um, nerd. He played for the Packers. Packers. Okay, fine. He played for the Packers, and he played on Little House on the Prairie. John Landon. No, not John. Yeah, the other well, guy. Yes, but that's not who I'm thinking of. Whoever, yeah, I think, who answered for us? Oh, that I don't know. I, BSB. I don't know. That's either Longshanks or uh, Double Craig Dog. Smith? <laughs> Might be Double Dog. I don't know. Well, that's it. That wraps things up. Yes, it was Michael Landon. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. God damn it, it wasn't Michael Landon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. Who he didn't was play it? football. Does anybody have an answer? Mm. He did. He did. He did fucking football. I don't know. Michael Olson. Close. Almost. Oh, did he? Did he sell flowers? 
I think so. Yeah. That one dude, that one dude that, that, that did that commercial for FDF Flowers. That one guy. All right. You all suck. It's Marlon George Olson. Brown. Merlin, Merlin Olson. Olson. That's right. I was about to I say that. Olson. Jesus. Oh, I guess the name. You're telling me none of you watched Little House on a Prairie? I did, but no, I Oh, that was a stupid show. Shut up, Doc. I watched it to learn survival techniques. I read yes. all the books. Survival techniques, how to beat up Willie <laughs> from the... <laughs> how you could steal candies from Mrs. What's-Her-Face. That old no, bitch. That old... <laughs> Yeah, their name was Olson. Well, no, yeah. that, but that wasn't that, that wasn't Merlin's wife. No. Merlin was the big goon guy that lived. He was probably, yeah. Probably gay. The, I don't think he the had a wife. Jack. He was yeah oh, the so. lumberjack. Wink. Yeah. Yeah. The, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> lived down by the river across yeah. the town. Yes. Yeah. That's <laughs> he used to take that. in young stray fellas that were heading towards <laughs> San right, Francisco. Right. I'm sure you ought to cut them. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. I'm sure you ought to cut some real wood. <laughs> they don't call him the rail splitter for nothing. <laughs> You're holding the axe way too hard. I crack myself up. All right, thanks for watching our silliness, and we had a high old time going down memory lane with old Sue there. And Rob, good to see you again there, buddy. Well, she's not old. She's, she's only 29. Uh, 29. Yes, we all went oh, to high school. Oh, the beard has to stay. We, we all went to high school together, yet somehow Spaniard and Sue were... 28 years younger than I am. I still right. haven't figured that out. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, if you have any veterans in your family or you know any veterans or you know any people that are active duty, go ahead and share this silly page with them. It's not all this stupid bullshit. There is uh, real veteran news and real veteran stuff and real veteran <laughs> that, that they may be interested in. You could buy patches and you could also learn about ghost hunting. A lot of yes, different stuff. Please. A lot of different stuff. Mm. And, and cannabis. Stuff. You can learn about cannabis. And we got a chick once in a while on here. Yeah. <laughs> see? Got a lot of information. But she's not on a boat. Yeah, see? There you go. All right, Spaniard. Wrap this. Wrap well, this there you go. Thanks you again. Catch us Friday for uh, our uh, St. Patrick's Day edition of the Roundtable. Uh, we're not going to have any guests. We're just going to make it a drink fest. So uh, okay. I encourage anybody uh, on, for Friday, for this Friday, come on. Join us. Uh, if you, uh, I'll, I'll get post. a little bit of cancer, Stan. I'll post up the uh, the login wait. information. We'd love to have you. So let's make it a nice uh, a nice St. Patrick's Day. So, Rajesh, um, I think we're ready. I'd like to thank oh, our guest too. Bye, guys. Thank you. See you next and your bodyguard. Bye. See you Monday. Be good. Don't sweat smoke stuff. Oh. God. There you go. Guys.